You. Yeah, I'm talking to you. So you want to be an invader, huh? Here's the loadout, boys. This is the ultimate invader loadout. So you want to rock all the notorious invader armor, obviously. And if you want to rock an exotic, uh, I mean, be my guest and pop a synth. But for the weapons, we're running dust rock, or you could rock a sniper if you want. It's your choice. Doesn't really matter. And but the main weapon we're going for here is Polaris Lance. So Polaris Lance can three tap across the map, no problem. And if you manage to get the Killmonger perk at times four and invade again while the Killmonger is still activated, you can two tap people in the head, doing like one thirty something to the head. So it's pretty nutty. And then we got Hammerhead, obviously. If you wanna, if there's a shit ton of people running at you. And they're getting too close, so we got Hammerhead. And we're running Six Shooter Golden Gun on the Hunter. Now, if you're playing Warlock, you could probably run Dawnblade or maybe Storm Trance or Nova Bomb. And then for the Titan, probably Missile Titan or Hammers would probably be the best super to run. Um, yeah, so our goal here is to just wipe the team over and over again, get that times four. Especially on the boss phase, you want the times four so you can come back and do double damage. Alright, now pray to god we don't have another... Okay, we got a sentry. Cool. Alright. So... At the start of the match, what you want to do, what I try to always do, what I think is the best thing to do, is let them bank first. I think that's common knowledge at this point for Gambit Prime. And you probably, as the invader, you want to pick up like 5 to 10 moats and then chill by the bank. And just, with because you're using Polaris, you can chill by the portal and still help out your team instead of just sitting by the portal and doing nothing. Because you, there's no point where you want to be doing nothing. That's the most important thing to remember. Sure, you're the invader, but you also have to help clear the ads. Okay, and they're taking all the moats. <laughs> we just need two more. We're just going to go for five. Whoops. Let's see, and now we wanna. Now, I guess taken armaments would be good to have if you want to. Oh, here we go. And now we're going to invade. Taken armaments would give you heavy for clearing the blockers, which would be extremely helpful, obviously. Now here we go. Hopefully I don't mess this up. Uh, and they're just gonna hide. Okay. Cool beans. Oh. Now we're gonna go for heavy here, so we can... No, we don't want to kill him, because he only got four kills. And he's hiding. Damn. Yeah, you gotta watch out for that. People do play like pussies in this game, and they just straight up hide. But now, as you can see, I'm pretty much just... You can just pretty much shred everything, even at times three. Uh, times four, obviously, is a little more damage. But look, there we go. This is what I'm talking about. You're invading. Make a mess. 115 to the head. Boom. <laughs> Boom. See what I mean? The Killmonger. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's something else. Oh, shit. And he ran away. So, as you can see, lapping over with the Killmonger proc, they only have one for some reason. Probably because I still had it proc when I went over. I'm not going to invade right away. 
I'm gonna let them sit comfy. Forget that we even have the invade. And then I'm gonna try to wipe as many moats from them as possible. So Gambit Prime, unfortunately, is really one-sided, which kind of sucks. Like, what I mean by that is that someone always banks a shit ton, like this, uh, before the other team even has any moats at all, really. Let's see? And that is why Player Slants is the invader weapon, guys. <laughs> Where's their... That's weird. Did one of their guys leave? Yeah. So you can just bot people across the map. And on top of that... Look. You get... If you have no heavy, and of course you're using a shotgun. Well, I mean, if you want to use a sniper, go ahead. But you have infinite ammo, of course, with the Polaris Lance, which is great for DPS against the boss. And we're at the Killmonger times 4, so we're actually doing a lot of damage for a primary weapon. And we're in a well, so... <laughs> There's also that. I don't even think I'll get to use my golden gun. I'm gonna have to use my... Oh, he's all the way down there. Okay. <laughs> Now, obviously, Hammerhead and Machine Guns, if you want to use Thunderlord and a high-impact, uh, non-legendary scout rifle, it's also good. It's just Polaris Lance has that infinite ammo and crazy DPS for a primary weapon. And, uh, like, you don't want to be using... You're heavy till at least you get to a times three. I mean, we might be able to use it heavy here, but on the times two and melt them. I'm gonna go find the invade. There he is. Jotun's also good. <laughs> not really. Jotun's not very good. I don't know how that hit me, to be honest. Um, yeah. <laughs> I don't recommend using Jotun. Because once the team knows you're using it, it's really easy to avoid it. We're going to just Golden Gun here. Oh shit. Oh shit! <laughs> Alright, that... I'm dead. Team, you gotta shoot the small blocker. Come on. There we go. We have a sentry not killing blockers. It's the weirdest thing. There we go. God damn. Oh shit! Oh shit! <laughs> Why is this guy- oh, we have a sentry. Mark them. Ouch. Hey look, our invade's up. Not that it really matters. But we'll give you guys one more invade. Look, I I don't even see him. Okay, here I'm gonna want to use my heavy. And what's crazy is the overshield lets you live so much stuff. Like I'm pretty sure the buffed overshield can let you live a, a low impact sniper shot to the head. You can live Jotun. I've lived 1k shots. Um, shotgun shots you can live. 
Uh, some supers, I think, you can take a hit. Like a Spectral Blade, the one swipe, you can take a hit from one swipe, which obviously doesn't do much, but it, you can do that. Uh, yeah. So that's pretty much it, guys. That's the Invader build that I think is the best build you can use as an Invader. It provides support for your team uh, from the middle of the map with Polaris Lance and Polaris Lance, of course, lets you just dump on the whole team like you guys saw. Uh, and then we got, of course, Kinetic Weapon Targeting would be great too. I have Major Resist on this for some reason, but yeah, you want to rock the whole set, especially because Invading lets you lock down the enemy's bank. That's so important, I didn't touch on that. Locking the enemy's bank is just... It lets them not, obviously, bank their moats, so they're just there for the picking because they just stand by the bank once they've cleared the last blocker, hoping the bank, but it just doesn't open up. So yeah, guys, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like and subscribe for future builds and future content. Thanks so much for watching. Peace.